Attention she praises An image she prays to be Sculpted by the sculptor Oh she don't see The light that's shining channel my name is Jade and I'm here to make videos on YouTube inspiring people helping people in any way shape or form and I'm also here to spread positivity smiles and kindness so today's video is a full coverage acne foundation routine every day kind of thing my full coverage acne routine and it doesn't make my face feel cakey or dry at all and it covers everything 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 and I'm absolutely in love with it and people have been telling me like your skin looks good Jade you don't need to go on Accutane honey this is makeup I need to get my ass on Accutane so I am here to show you what I found that works best for me and some little tips and tricks on how to get your foundation to stay longer so if you guys are interested keep on watching now what I do I learned this from Wayne Goss um, the makeup artist here on YouTube um, has really really good tricks and tips and is just an amazing youtuber so shout out to you um, Wayne I'm going to be using the Nip Fab no needle fix serum and I'm just gonna use like a tiny dab of it and I'm gonna kind of um, focus it on my forehead because I do have some wrinkling right here and it's always from me going like that so I'm just gonna make sure I get there and, and I usually like to pat my foundation in or I like to pat um, moisturizers and primers in because I feel like you can only do so much by smoothing it like how I'm doing and that's just what I'm used to but as, as soon as I smooth it I pat it in because I feel like I'm pushing the product in and I feel like you get better results with whatever product you're using for the most part so I usually just like pat that in but I have my hair back this is what I learned from Wayne Goss and I cannot say thank you enough because this has literally changed my foundation game in a heartbeat in an instant and so I just got this from Ulta take this and I dabbed it into this and kind of pressed it out and now I'm gonna be using this brush um, it is a crown brush it's the C320 precision powder and I'm just gonna dab this on my skin and you're like what are you doing Jade if this is full coverage this is not gonna get you full coverage just wait for it, okay just wait okay just wait it will get you full coverage don't you worry and it's not with this that gets you full coverage. I'm just gonna dab a tiny bit more on so I can get a little bit more of a sheer coverage. And onto my neck too. I'm just gonna make sure all this is up too. I am now going to be putting Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It is in the cover, it's in the color linen because I'm that pale. Did I just break it? Okay, no. But this this isn't this, this isn't the secret trick, guys. This is not the secret trick. Like for me, I feel like just this alone maybe it did something for my skin in Ulta when this sales associate pulled me aside. What the fuck? And now I'm just going to dab it onto my skin. I'm telling you, this makeup trick works. Like I'm not even joking. I use less coverage and like less foundation overall because of this trick that went. And I'm just gonna kind of push this product in and then I'm gonna pat. So I'm just gonna do one at one at one side at a time so you guys can kind of see. <laughs> I love brushes. I think brushes are so awesome. Um, the thing is, is that for me personally, with breaking out, I don't want to, I want to make sure I'm able to narrow that out, that it's not my brushes breaking me out, even though I wash my brushes. More coverage on this side, but this side has a decent amount of coverage. Could it use more coverage? Hell yes. But, like, like I said, this is not the secret. <laughs> Take a little 
little bit more Maybelline. And dip it onto the cap. That's a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. And just literally dust it and pat it over. Because it's still like some left in here from when we just used it in the very first place. So foundation. And no, not that one. This one. So you're thinking, Jake, what the fuck is this? This doesn't mean shit to me. Because I haven't bought the actual product yet. This is a sample, and this is my like fifth day using this sample. Like the lady ended up giving me more than I needed, and it's lasting me pretty well and I am literally buying this and this is the Mark Jacobs re remarkable or yeah remark mark mark Jacobs what's up um foundation and it is in the shade 12 ivory and I feel like this is a tiny bit tiny bit um darker on me and you know how they are in Sephora stores they are very warm and welcoming into Sephora and then when you get outside it's really cool and cold so I think she warmed me up a little bit too much with this color and th I wasn't actually supposed to even be this color I was supposed to be actually a shade darker than this color thing is they ran out the other color and she was saying yeah this one will blend nicely and it does I, I really I love it I absolutely like love it I want a lot more coverage but you just don't want to feel like you just when you think of full coverage I think people just naturally think of cakey cake yeah. cakey like who wants to look like a cake no one no one looks like it wants to look like a cake so this is literally so lightweight put this on mommy give me more I'm just gonna, a little bit goes a long way like absolutely long way and you guys see like I'm like I don't know if you guys saw me dip it in but like I barely barely dip it in and now I'm just gonna kind of like rub it over like this like how I've been doing with my makeup. And now I'm gonna pat. But look at this full coverage. Like, do you see this? But do you guys see on how full coverage that is? Like, look at this. And then look at this side. Like, you guys saw me put makeup on the side. Like, this is insanely... But for people that have a lot of hyper pig, I mean, dang. Like, this is, like, <gasps> breathtaking. That's this side. And then this is the Clinique side. And if you, if you guys saw, I probably used around the same amount of makeup. It wasn't even like a lot. It was just like dabs. And then this is what my skin looks like using the Clinique one. And that this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It retails for like $55. It is expensive. Clinique was like $24 or something, $26. But it is so worth it for people that have a lot of hyper pig. that I may not see right now that my fingers could have left by me um, dabbing it or I'm going to be taking Mac pro longwear concealer in NC 15 because I'm a white ass bitch so yeah <laughs>
Hey guys, sorry I gotta pause this video right here. Um, I decided not to show the eyeshadow and eyes part of this video in this video because I am the queen of space and um, it's just gonna be too long so I am sorry I'm not showing this in there if you guys were curious on how I did my eyeshadow and makeup look with my eyes and my eyebrows so uh, yeah I'm sorry it's just it's too long but if you guys want a video like that just make sure you use the comment section below and let me know what you guys want all right sorry guys bye monster cuz I need a drink I like to take this brush it's by real techniques it is a setting brush and I like to use it for bronzer I just dab it in a little bit of essence club Sun shimmering brown bronzing powder for darker skin and I'm just going to dab it's the tiniest bit amount on my forehead on my dab dab it I know you want to I know you want me you know I want you know you you want me I'm just gonna be going side to side I've been there all night I've been there all day yeah. the same brush I used and I kind of like to blend it and I like to go kind of upward and this way backward so like that I'm not too into bronzing just because I'm a pale ass bitch and I think that's awesome and yeah. Take my Crown C133 Lash Fan Brush and it's a little pointy brush like this and I like to highlight Avi and I- ooh, 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 we can't waste that, we can't waste that. So I got this at the makeup show Chicago. If you guys don't know, I am in the Midwest. Oh, did you see that? Oh, my throat. Oh, I see my throat. And I like to dab. Look at my dab! I'm literally using the tiniest bit amount. And I like to do the tip of my nose. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I use my precision powder brow on your brush powder. And I like to smooth it out. And I like to go out and away from my face. Liner in ever. So now that I am done lining my lips. <laughs> Charmed by NYX. I'm going to spray Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This is so reasonably priced. It's my bag. You can spray it anywhere. In your hair. On your face. Just like this one. And it literally, it calms me down so much. I have ADHD and I'm always like, on the go. On the go. Like that. So yeah. So allow this to kind of dry. And so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video on my full coverage everyday makeup routine. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys like this video or you want more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. So I hope this video helped someone out there that may be struggling with hyperpigmentation. And if you're struggling out there with hyperpigmentation, we're not perfect. We're humans, we're not perfect. Thank you guys so, so much for watching like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys have a very beautiful and soulful day and i will see you guys later bye